Hi guys, hope you're doing okay. I thought I'd start the vlog off here because I am very excited. I'm heading up to my friend's house, which is in, well, like near Sheffield-ish. So it's a few hours from my house and I'm setting off. Just me, no car seat in the back, no George. Just me and baby girl bump. Um, we're gonna set off and we're gonna have a girly mum night in. Me and my friend Beth always try and do these sort of kind of try and do them every couple of months where we do what something for just us like the mums and then we try and do something with the kids as well it's just been really hard recently with i don't know just like so much happening she's got loads going on in her life obviously we've just had like stuff happening left right and center like getting married and then going on our honeymoon and then moving house and then getting pregnant like i feel like i haven't seen her in ages we did manage to sneak in a couple of little trips in peterborough which was nice but yeah i'm gonna head up to hers tonight and stay over which i'm really excited about and i've packed really comfy clothes my skincare things like that i think all we're gonna do tonight is literally have a takeaway or something like that and then maybe go get our nails done or something like something very very chilled which i'm excited for i feel like i've packed everything it's just for a one night i've packed like my skincare essentials like my skin and me daily doser which i'll talk to you guys a little bit about later on in the video you guys know that i absolutely rave about this thing i don't go anywhere without it in fact i went to edinburgh recently and i forgot my daily dosa and i was like in a panic <laughs> because i was worried that i wasn't sticking to my routine whenever i don't stick to my routine my skin kind of goes back to its old tricks whereas at the moment it's in a really good place um where i'm not having too many breakouts my hormonal acne has calmed down they actually formulated something specifically for me during my pregnancy which is perfect because it was a slightly different formula to the one that i was using when i wasn't pregnant um, um, so it's like personalised, really powerful skincare. But I'll talk to you guys a little bit about it later on in the video tonight, probably, when I'm doing my skincare routine. But yeah, I'm just really excited. I want to get there now. I want to give her a big cuddle and yeah, just have a really lovely girls' night in. I'm really really excited i'm just gonna pop on a podcast i'm thinking i'm gonna go for parenting hell because i think i've got a couple to listen to on that and then i don't know i need some good podcast inspirations i do love the made by mama's podcast and i also love basically all my podcasts that i listen to are mum related or like parent related which i think is a little bit depressing but it's just like my life it's so I don't know, I guess you kind of like watch and listen to things that like you relate to, right? Hence my vlogs, I guess. Um, but yeah, I'm going to get on the podcasts and I'll see you on the other side. Bye. I've just got up to my friend's house. I've literally just pulled up outside. It's chucking it down with rain, but the journey was pretty, pretty easy actually. So, you know what? Actually, traveling on your own without a toddler in the back screaming at you for Peppa Pig on the iPad and snacks constantly, kind of relaxing. So yeah, I've just got here. Like I said, it's chucking it down with rain. Fun times. Oh, to be in the north. But yeah, I'll catch up with you in a little bit. Is this what you want? I 
guys i hope you're okay it's actually a couple days later i meant to vlog a bit more when i was at my friend's house but you know when you're actually just enjoying your time and the last thing that i'm thinking about doing is picking up the camera um we had such a lovely catch up though it was so so nice to go up there and actually have like a proper conversation with another adult with like your friend because i feel like anyone with toddlers will know that like when you get together with the kids and stuff you're never ever ever like actually having a conversation with your friend like you're always getting interrupted or you're always obviously like talking about the kids or you know playing with the kids and stuff which is in itself is lovely but it was just nice like I said to to have a proper catch up and like yeah it was just it was just so lovely and it was so so needed fast forward 24 hours um I've had a bit of a nightmare um in terms of just like work and childcare and sickness and all that kind of stuff. Um, so basically Monday, which was yesterday at this point, um, George woke up at like 3.30 in the morning complaining of an earache. So he was just like ear sore, ear sore. And I was like, oh gosh, like he's never told me like specifically what's wrong with him before. Like obviously now he's talking a lot more and stuff he can. Um, so he had a sore ear and um, he was coughing a lot and saying he had a sore throat as well. So basically couldn't go to nursery. He didn't have a temperature or anything like that. And cowpole seemed to like completely calm his um, like pain down. Because when he had cowpole, like 20 minutes later, I was like, did your ear hurt? And he was like, no, no. And he was just being like a normal toddler George, like running around, jumping off of things, like standard stuff. So he wasn't sick when he had the cowpole because of the pain. I think it was just more of a, like it was, a, I think he's got cold, but he knows you know, where he's hurting and he can articulate that. So anyway, he was off nursery yesterday, which meant that I couldn't go to work, which meant all of the deadlines that I had this week have been pushed back a day. I only work four days a week. So now I've only got three days to complete those tasks. I had a bit of a moment as well, like an emotional, <laughs> let's call it a breakdown. It was a breakdown. I, I just couldn't hold it in. And I think it's probably something to do with the pregnancy hormones as well as just general general just realization that it's hard man it's really hard to be a working mum like that situation in itself like pragmatically looking back it's not that big of a deal your, your son is sick of course you have to take time off work to look after your son when you don't have childcare. like that is obvious and it shouldn't be a big deal of course that's my priority of course I was always going to do that but in that moment I just felt like this existential, like, what am I doing? How am I gonna be a working mum with two kids, twice the sort of pressure in terms of like childcare and what if one of them's sick and, you know, being pulled pillar to post and how am I gonna ever progress in my career? Like, how am I ever gonna be a working mum that, you know, builds a career and gets promoted and all that kind of, like, how do you do that? Um, yeah, anyway, so I had a bit of a moment to my manager, who, by the way, is the best person in the world. She's been there. She's done this. Like, she's got two kids who are a little bit older now. Like, I think they're in, like, the later stages of primary school. But obviously still get sick and stuff. But, you know, she homeschooled during the pandemic and worked for full time. Still hit her deadlines. Managed to juggle it all. But it was really difficult for her. Um, and she remembers that, gets it, like... You know her partner's also in the military so like no offense to them but they can't really be relied on for any sort of childcare when especially when they're away like let's face it it's just what it is and just so happens that this week um ash is back like working away so it was just like this cocktail of emotions and i was just like how do people do this and then i did a little post on instagram and it was um clear that it's not just me that feels like this um a lot of the time when things like you you know you're juggling you're spinning plates whatever you want to say basically you have to wear so many different hats as a mum whatever kind of mum you are like you are uh, oh, just incredible and the amount of pressure that is on us day in day out is insane and I know that you guys get that but for me like the hardest part is being a working mum because I feel like I have to try and prioritize things that I don't really want to prioritize like I don't want to prioritize work when my son is ill I don't I also you know do care about my job and I care about the people that I work with and I don't want to let them down which I'm not but in my head I was and it was just this oh it was just this nightmare um 
anyway, I've regrouped. Um, this morning, George was totally fine. I asked him if he was okay, if he was sore, if he was hurt. He was like, no, and he was like, nursery, yeah. And he was like, loving life. So he went to nursery this morning, totally fine, thank gosh. Um, so yeah, he was buzzing to go in. So I smashed the morning, like I've done my um, Tesco click and collect because we have nothing in. You can obviously tell that I'm living in a building site right now. So it, like we're doing very, very much like air fryer meals and sort of bits and bobs. We don't have a hob basically, because I'll show you the kitchen in a minute. Um, so I, I did the click and collect order for later on today. I've walked the dog, dropped George at nursery, um, you know, done the washing up and stuff like that, like bits. I was like, oh, right, okay, I'm gonna log on to work now. This is all before half past eight. Get my laptop out. George has drawn all over it, but besides the point, realised that I don't have my work laptop charger. Ash, my husband, has my laptop charger because we both have the same laptop. He's obviously taken it by accident, um, as well as his, and I can't log on. Well, I can log on, but I've got 12% battery on my laptop, so great stuff. I was gonna literally have another meltdown, and I was like, right, no, how do I fix this? Get on the family group chat um, of people local and said, could anyone please, please, please lend me a laptop charger? Everyone replied like, yeah, I've got a laptop charger, yeah, I've got a laptop charger, called me, I was like, yeah, great, amazing. And then he got back to me about 45 minutes after I messaged him and he said, no, it's here, don't worry, I haven't taken it, it's all good. Anyway, it was all fine, we got there in the end, not having a mental breakdown today so <laughs> i want to just celebrate that like it's difficult like but it's so funny like i've literally gone from having a, a really wonderful weekend um with my friend and then coming back and george was like he missed me loads and we had like loads of cuddles he was really lovely with me and he was like kissing my bump and stuff and he was just being so sweet and i was on like cloud nine then fast forward 24 hours literal mental breakdown and existential like crisis of like what am I doing with my life because this is not working and it's too stressful and it's awful and then now I'm sort of back on a on a level where I'm like you know it's manageable it's okay um it's just crazy isn't it it's like a wild ride and especially with the pregnancy hormones I can't tell you enough like they do some weird things to me guys like I am not an emotional person I'm very well, I try not to, like, yeah, I never used to be an emotional person. Since I've had George, I'm definitely an emotional person. Yeah, everything just hits you that much harder. Like, you just can't think logically, or I can't think logically. You know what? That's okay. It's fine. But anyway, it's all okay. We got there in the end. My laptop is charging. It's probably almost time for it to turn on now, which is good, which will be the proper start to my working day. Just, yeah, madness. I feel like... I need to just compose myself, maybe even have a coffee, and yeah, go from there. But anyway, I just wanted to show, like, as always, you know, some of the reality of, like, life, because you can literally go from having the best time ever to 24 hours later being in meltdown mode, and that is just, that is just my life. I'd say that's pretty much weekly basis, like, I feel on cloud nine, everything is amazing, I'm so lucky, which I am, and I'm never ever going to take away from that, I know that I'm so lucky in so many respects, but you can also feel down, and you can also literally hit rock bottom at the same time. I have to admit, I've been where I was yesterday so much, like, when Ash went away, um, for four months and George was in childcare and I was in a job that was slightly less supportive let's just say or at least it felt like it my emotions and my mental health was really struggling and I mean like it was so so difficult and I feel like in the last six months to like a year I felt so much better in myself like so much happier obviously we've had so much going on we got married and like went on a massive amazing honeymoon and we've moved house and like there's just been like all of these amazing things to look forward to we're now pregnant like you know all of these things are amazing and I'm so incredibly grateful and lucky and like wow this is my life like I know that this doesn't look great but it'll be worth it in the end I'm sure but you can still you know have your moments and that's I don't know I don't really know what my point is to be honest but I just I'm just rambling and saying how I feel and I feel like <laughs> realistically YouTube is basically my therapy at this point so you know, I hope you're getting something from this if you're not then I apologise but anyway yes um this is the house. Nothing has changed since the last time 
you saw it there's a pregnancy ball there and a wok lid definitely a george um situation um <laughs> so yeah things are everywhere bit of a nightmare but i think it is gonna be either this weekend or the weekend after the ash starts like doing more stuff i don't really know what the stuff is i think we're doing some plastering maybe i don't i don't actually know i genuinely don't know and then um the kitchen has been delivered it's in the, our garage at the moment at the back of our garden so that is that let's look you know it's very very exciting but obviously george and i are gonna have to get out of the house away and then let ash like crack on and do all of this yeah we're super excited but like i always said this is going to be a slow progress and i'm fine with that totally am um but yeah in the meantime it is just a bit of a tip but that's fine <laughs> anyway on a brighter note my skin is feeling pretty good right now i'm trying to stay hydrated because i know that i was slacking on that and that's why i was having i don't know just dryness and like my skin was just generally dehydrated and obviously i've been sticking to my skincare routine with skin and me making sure that i use my daily doser every single evening and the formula in that i actually think i prefer it to my pre-pregnancy formula so basically how skin and me work is they're powerful person personalized skincare to your exact skin so every single formula is going to be different um, and you do the online quiz basically where you fill out all of your information including your health information if anything ever changes like getting pregnant you can update that and then it's basically where you get personalized skincare for you with the active ingredients that you can't get over the counter at such an affordable price in comparison to what you would pay like to go to a specialist in person like it's just so good for what you pay like i just can't get over it i've been using it for actually a year now which is insane so before i use skin and me i'm going to pop a picture up on the screen this is what my skin looked like i was getting hormonal breakouts constantly nothing that i did diet hydration like everything that i was trying to do just wasn't working and i started using skin and me in march 2021 in preparation for the wedding and i really wanted uh, clear skin for the wedding and stuff and I achieved that which is amazing so as the months progressed my hormonal acne calmed down like don't get me wrong I still get breakouts every now and then but usually it's because of my diet or not hydrating or something like that and I'm basically just continuing to use skin and me and as my skin has progressed they've actually changed my formula to like grow with my skin if that makes sense like as my skin's getting better they've changed my formula and it's constantly updating and it's just great it's just genuinely it's changed my life like I mean I know that sounds dramatic, but having skin issues can be such a confidence knocker. Like for me, I would rather have clear skin and never wear makeup again. Like that would be my dream. And I'm not wearing any makeup today and I'm, I feel great. And you know what? Like that's something that I never, ever felt before. So the past year, thanks to skin and me, I'm very, very happy with my skin, which is not something that I thought I'd be saying anytime when I was thinking about this this time last year. If you are looking to upgrade your skincare in a way that's like really simple, accessible, you don't have to use loads of different serums and stuff like that. You literally can just add this to your cleansing and moisturizing routine, pop the daily doser on in between and bob's your uncle. It's just so simple and straightforward. I have a discount code for you guys down in the description box and I'll pop it up on the screen as well. If you use it, you'll get your first daily doser for £3.50, which is such a bargain. I honestly don't know what I would have done without it i probably would have been still trying to buy loads of different things trying loads of things out not really knowing what's going to work because i'm not professional um whereas they can obviously curate something like specifically for you so yeah i absolutely love it but anyway like i said my laptop's probably ready for me now charged up i'm hydrated i'm feeling good <laughs> um and i hope that you all have a lovely week and if you're having a bit of a crap week then i promise you it will get better we got this guys we can do this um but yeah for now i'm gonna love you and leave you and i'll see you really really soon in the next one bye guys because you glue all the pieces back together yeah you you take all my wrongs and make them better yeah you you're making me wanna try forever i feel so free oh my sweet baby